Here with Washington State women's basketball head coach Cammie Etheridge. Coach, your team picks up a thrilling 66-65 win over UCLA. Just opening statements, and we'll open the floor for questions. Um, you know, just unbelievably relieved. <laughs> Sometimes it's that as a coach more than um, total happy, but thrill for our team. Um, thought it was just a great hard-fought game. It went back and forth. We got momentum. They got momentum back. Uh, I was very concerned about how we played at the start of the fourth quarter and dug ourselves a hole. But just the response of our team to come back and make big plays. And, you know, the ending is just uh, perfect for Crystal to have made that play and, and not only tied the game, but stepped to the line and made the free throw to win it. So, um, you know, you know, we're all sitting around going, we have to win every game. And, and, and it's so easy to not win. It's so hard to win. So uh, just thrilled that we pulled this out and, and found a way to win. All right, we'll open the floor for questions. We'll start with Jamie Vanek, Cook fan. Go ahead, Jamie. Just from, from your spot on the bench, that last shot, I mean, what, what kind of goes through your mind? What was your vantage point of it? And just kind of seeing not only it, or Charlize miss, Crystal wrestles the rebound and then makes it and gets fouled and then sinks the free throw, of course. Yeah, I'm not sure how it bounced to Crystal. It felt like it, it, it bobbled first and then it landed in her hands. You know, I think you just have the first realization that you're going to lose when, when it's kind of the, the, I don't know if it hit the rim or it was a little bit close to an air ball or just how it dropped and, and you're just going, there's not enough time for a second chance. And out of nowhere, you know, uh, she shows up and saves the day like a, like a superhuman kind of player. But um, just that high and low of that, that moment of, We've lost this game to, oh my gosh, not only have we tied the game, we might have a chance to win the game. So it's just the thrill and the agony, I guess, of sport and winning and losing in, in, in this league and everywhere else. And obviously we came up on top and feel bad, feel bad that UCLA lost this game that way. So, uh, but it's kind of the, the, the breaks and we're fortunate to have won it. And, and you know, the free throw, I mean, <laughs> how much uh, did you have to remind yourself or everyone is celebrating? We still got to hit the free throw yeah. and kind of, you know, remind and, and maybe breathe a little bit more after that. Yeah, I didn't really put much thought into the free throw. I think I was just, um, you know, just in the in the moment of, um, you know, knowing that they were going to call a timeout and, and thinking ahead. But I mean, she just seemed so solid all night on her shooting and uh, made big baskets for us and stepped to the line and made big baskets for us. So, um, uh, you know, and and on a night when others were missing, and it was a little inconsistent. So, again, just a, a lot of credit to a, a senior that wants to help her team win in any way she can and does it every single night for us. In a lot of ways, maybe almost similar to that UW game at home where, you know, maybe Charlize doesn't have the best percentages, but obviously does so much on the court outside of shooting. She hits the big three, though, that kind of starts the run happening at UW happens tonight. I mean, how – I mean, how – Beneficial is it to have a player that can be having a bit of an off night shooting the ball, but at any time can just flip a switch and then have two huge, huge baskets like that? I thought she did that. It seemed like she drew a couple of fouls, too, that got him into the one and one early, earlier in a couple of situations. I, again, they were so aggressive on us on the perimeter that we have to have someone that can get downhill. And, you know, her strength factor that can create, get an advantage and, and either get to the rim or, or – or foul it. Maybe we just didn't figure that out soon enough, but she really went to another gear when we had to have her, and those baskets were huge, and and um, and you know her aggressiveness to the rim was was huge. We need we need more points from her. Obviously, she knows it. Uh, she's going to work her way out of this, and she's going to be a key. You know, no matter what, she's. I'll you know honestly, she probably you know sometimes you're not shooting well, and you you kind of shoot too many times and you take bad shots. I thought her shot selection was awesome tonight for the most part. And, and uh, you know, we're going to get her turned around and she's gonna, it's going to be easier maybe the next time instead of a one-point win at the buzzer. How determined were you guys, not only, you know, the coaches, but the players, just to completely flush what happened Wednesday and just to kind of remind not, you know, not only fans but yourselves that that's not who you are and it was just a one-off uncharacteristic performance and that this is more of – what your team has become and developed into a team that wins basketball games and, you know, wins them thrillingly. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't think we had enough time to really dive into Oregon. I mean, you just didn't. And so I think the most disappointing thing was after the game when you just have to try to 
you know, find some closure and, and, and understand that, that just like you said, there's this game, this loss can't make the next one be a loss. And it, in, in this shooting is, doesn't mean it's going to affect the next night shooting. And, and, you know, again, credit our team to kind of bounce back. They had a great practice yesterday after that loss. And we had a great shoot around today before the game. I mean, the energy, the vibe of our team, um, the the locked in and focus. And I worried about that. I really did. I thought, yeah, this could really affect us. We could be shook. But they really responded the right way. And, and um, again, I, I credit our seniors. I credit our older players that just know how to get people back on track. So uh, I was happy to see that. Coach, you get the ball down to with 15 seconds. The play doesn't work. You get the ball again with seven seconds. What are you telling your players? Well, you know, a lot of things aren't going to work. I mean, it's hard to get a call probably on cuts. You know, they, they can hold, and, and they, really, they really guarded our blobs and, and out-of-bounds plays really well tonight and, and stood us up and could switch. You know, they've got bodies that can switch out onto our shooters. So, um, you know, you just want to get a shot at the rim. You just want to get the ball there. Um, I thought Yo might have come open on that last play, and we, we had a, you know, kind of a screen the screener, and I think, you know, she was waiting to see if, if – Maybe Ula or Bella or one of those guys could come open on the backside and missed her chance to get it into Yo. Uh, and at that point, you just have to have someone that's going to make a play. And, and, you know, we tried. Charlie's tried. And, and obviously, you know, hustle plays by players give you a, maybe a second chance. So gotta, you got to – a lot of times things aren't going to work and you just got to find a way to win, and that's what our group did. Coach. Your team led the majority of the game. Then late in the fourth quarter, you faced your biggest deficit of seven points. In that moment, what are you telling your players? Well, I mean, you know, it's, we're still trying to figure out how to play small. I thought we had some good minutes at the end of the third and, and built that league with a small lineup, and, and I stayed small uh, going into fourth. Again, we have foul trouble on some of our players, trying to get them, save them a tiny bit. Um, I love the minutes Jessica gave us. I thought Emma did fine. It's just sometimes you, you think you can get you can you know with the ball handlers and the and, and more versatile players in at the same time. I really want that lineup to work. I guess I'm gonna do it until it kills us. But we need that lineup to work. And, and I think it didn't work because Ula couldn't pick up a fifth foul on Thomas. Thomas just became a dominant player in that first part of the fourth quarter, and we couldn't really guard her until we went back big, but had so many people with four fouls that, you know, uh, it, was, it was a concern that way. So um, I think, again, you, you, just stay, you just tell them to stay with it. There's plenty of time left, but you need big-time players stepping up in those moments and making a play, and we obviously got that with a, a number of our players. And, Coach, last question. Um, you saw the raw emotion from your team immediately after the game. It matched some of the best that we've seen all season. What would you say this game and this win means to that locker room? Yeah, well, it's probably a little bit more out there and, and heightened when you come off of a, such a disappointing loss. I think the crowd was great tonight. I thought just getting people back in the stands, it seems like we've not had very many people there with game times and things. Uh, I think they felt a lot of, not pressure, but just want. They really wanted to respond the right way and, and, and compete the right way and have a chance to win this game. Clearly, um, you know, this, this in, in the big picture, they, all those guys know what we need to do maybe to get to the NCAA tournament. You know, it, it, the eye test was not good for us against Oregon. You know, that probably really hurts us in a lot of ways. So you just have to find ways to win games and climb and be up at the top of the, of the, of the conference. So uh, I don't have to talk a lot to our team about big picture stuff. We just really try to keep it really simple and, and, and keep it tight and day to day. And, you know, it's halftime. That's what we always say. It's halftime right now between UCLA and USC. We got to regroup at halftime and we got to be great. Um, you know, coming out in the second half and, and, and play a great game against USC. That, that's our emphasis, and that, that's where we go next.